Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match preview. Tottenham Hotspur versus Everton at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which looks like, uh, you know, a potentially very, very tricky game, Vaz. Very, very tricky game. It's, you know, it was always always going to be a tricky game, but now looking at some of the some of the injuries that Everton have got and the team that Everton might be putting out, it looks a bit trickier. Yeah. Seven players out, it looks like, for the weekend. And Tarkovsky, obviously, the biggest the biggest miss it'll be. Uh, he's not missed the Premier League game since signing for Everton. Mm. But it looks as though he's not going to be available. He's got a hamstring injury. Um, that's a massive blow. I think that'll probably see Jake O'Brien making his Premier League debut for us. Um, alongside Michael Keane, which will fill some of the zones with a little bit of trepidation. Because also, there's an issue at right-back and that'll probably see Mason Holgate come in as well. So it's already a makeshift offence, isn't it? Going to a very, very offensive Tottenham yeah. Hotspur, uh, which makes Everton's job really difficult. And Sean Dykes will be having nightmares about it because, you know, there's no Ashley Young there. Uh, but Seamus Coleman isn't there, so he's lost that experience at right-back as well. Um, he can't even recall, you know, we can't even rely on Patterson there because he's injured. So it is it is bad for Everton to go to Tottenham with no Jared Brantwaite or James Tarkovsky at the heart of the defence. That is not ideal and it will be really tough following on from what was a, a poor result last week. Yeah, it's uh, it feels like it feel it feels like all his nightmares come true, doesn't it, in many ways? Because last season obviously it was built on the defence, it mm -hmm. was built on, you know, those two centre-backs with Michalenko and the ever-revolving door at right-back. Yeah. Um, but we got away with it and that's what we built the back of, or the whole of our season on, the back of, on the defence. And to not have, you know, those key players possibly for a really tough away game. I mean, you know, we went, we never really do well down at Spurs. We went down there last season and give a good account of ourselves, but we never really do too well down there. And for it to be their first home game of the season, lots of optimism. Um, it is it is worrying, and obviously coming off the back of a heavy defeat, the heaviest defeat in the Premier League at the, at the weekend, to go somewhere down there and you're just thinking, right, well, I just want to get through this game, have a good account of ourselves. To have the likes of the possibility of the likes of Michael Keane and Mason Holgate starting this game, a Premier League debut for Jake O'Brien, that's that's. That's terrifying. That really, that's like it's it's. I know it's I know and I know it's only one game, but it really it 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 it, it really does. It really does like just the neg. You just can't help but feel negative and 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 you, know, you dream about those days in November and December. <laughs> what well, you're saying, Gary Neville was right. Everton can only play when it's dark and wet. But that's not true though, because Everton actually only start playing when when the spring comes. So that's that that's that's a lie. Um so he's actually lying there. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know, we won games in December and November. Yeah, but, but as I said, spring is spring. Well, I mean for 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 Tottenham, Everton is all Everton versus Spurs for us is always a terrible game. We've mm -hmm. won one of the last twenty three matches against them in the Premier League. And that was the one 0 win at Tottenham under Ancelotti. Mm -hmm. They've scored more Premier League goals against us overall, hundred and two than any other Premier League team. He's got 63 at home, which is the most they've scored against any other Premier League team. So, just looking at those kind of statistics, it's, it, it, says it, it says it all. It's a really tough one. Spurs have won the first Premier League game at home in five of the last six seasons, I think it is. And the only one they haven't was when we beat them. <laughs> under with Carlo so they generally do well at home on the, their first home game um, and for us it's a tough game and it's when you've got seven players out where the squad that is as small as ours is mm -hmm. and as stressed as ours is going up against a very good team spent heavily again this summer then it's always a difficult it, it, what else can you you can't be optimistic going into it so you feel as though it's already damaged limitation mm -hmm. and obviously They've got a sixty-five million pound centre forward. They want to get off the mark. You're gonna to have to keep an eye on him. It's gonna be a really, really, really tough afternoon for Everton. I suppose the only way you can look at it in many ways is that if 
it, it kind of galvanised the players. Mm. You know, can Everton go into this game knowing that it is going to be all hands to the pump? Everyone has to get, um, everyone has to do their job to the to the to the maximum if this, if they're going to get anything out the game. And sometimes that can. Sometimes you can, you know you can get these unexpected results. I mean, I'm not saying we will, but I think sometimes almost going in there thinking right today is going to be tough and it, all the expectations are that it's only only going to be one result today um i think sometimes you can get the players going and the, the players who were on the pitch the likes of the likes of uh tim irabunum obviously started mm -hmm. last week with no fear and maybe mm -hmm. some of those newer players jake o'brien even makes a premier league debut be looking at thinking well actually no these are opportunities mm -hmm. you know if you know, if James Garner was available, he'd be playing Tim and Boone and wouldn't. If if Branthwaite uh, or Tarky were, were were available for this game, then Jake O'Brien wouldn't start the game. Mm -hmm. So those players have got to take that, haven't they, and run with it. You know, at the moment we we, th we think it would be Mason Holgate playing right back, or you know, if we do play four at the back. But who's to say if a Roman Dixon's on the bench and an opportunity doesn't present itself to him? I'm not saying he's ready. Not saying not saying he should. He should be involved, but I'm just saying if it did, if they did get an opportunity to get on the pitch, take your chance. That's all you can ask, isn't it? Take mm -hmm. your chance. Mm -hmm. Don't be daunted by it and, and go out there. And it could be the making uh, or, or get, certainly given opportunities to one of those players that, because that's when you look at other teams and you go, oh, this young player or that young player managed to get in. Well, how did they get in? Because he was injuries, mm -hmm. setbacks, and they got in and they took their chance and they've never looked back. So, Maybe, just maybe, it could, that could be the positive that comes out of a game like this. Well, you've got to look for, for all of that stuff, haven't you? You know, with Spurs are a, a better side anyway, than us. It just goes without saying. Mm. Right now, so, you, as a younger player, unless you are exceptional, you know, like a Wayne Rooney, very rarely are you getting straight into a first team. Mm. You know, they're, they're at different clubs, aren't they? But the, each club's probably got a version of that who's got in. But Spurs have got a couple of young lads in there. You know, Artie Gray, you know, paid 40 million for him. He was a young lad. He got in Leeds as team. He got Luke Berger while he was 18. He played the other, he come on the other night. You know, there was no fear of Premier League experience for him. And he was straight on. And sometimes you have to, you have to force yourself into, oh, sorry, circumstances arise where you're already in that. And you're right, if it, if it was Roman Dixon, if the manager just went, I'm going with Roman Dixon instead of Mason Holgate. Mm -hmm then it's up to him to grab it and take it with two hands. And who knows, he, he could play and could have a really good mm. game. And then the manager looks and goes, let's play him again, let's play him again, see if he does it. And he does really well. And you don't really, I'm saying it would be Roman Dixon because I think it'll be Holgate, but someone like Jake O'Brien, who was having to wait, he's got to give the manager a headache, mm. hasn't he? He's got to get in and go, played at Leon, played in Europe, you know, done well. Leon score goals and everything else as a centre back, and I'm going to give Sean Dyke a real issue now by proving to him that I can play in the Premier League. Everton have bought me, I've had to bargain in time. Now, can you go in and do it? Because it's it is sink or swim, and maybe he has a, such a good game that the manager then, if Tarkovsky is available against Bournemouth, the manager would look and go, Actually, I'll take Michael Keane out and put Tarkovsky in, and I'll leave O'Brien in. They're the kind of they're the kind of moments that can happen in these games. Illiman and Dai could get on and score a goal or create, and the manager goes, actually, now he yeah. looks ready. You're right, you, as a fan, and there'll be 3,000 Evertonians going down to Tottenham at the weekend, and once they get in that stadium, they'll all have the hope that Everton can get a result. I'd love Everton to go somewhere and, and do what Brighton did last week to us. Basically, mm. do nothing and be 2-0 <laughs> up. Now, I don't expect Everton to be able to then create and control the way Brighton did after that. But, you know, going, who knows, football's mad like that yeah. sometimes. A scratch ahead almost grinds a result out. But at least go and give a really good account to yourselves and and for some players it's an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what have you... I mean, obviously, Spurs have only played one game, but did you make anything against Leicester? Obviously, I, bringing Solanke in. And... I thought for an hour they were excellent, particularly the first half. They should have been... 4-0 up in the first half. They, they done that little thing that Arsenal used to do, which yeah. is, oh yeah, you have a goal or, you know, you try and score and all that. And 
they should have just killed the game off, in my mm. opinion. They were they scored a crack and goal, Paro, lovely little flick into the corner. Solanke had two good opportunities to get off the mark and missed the both of them. Um, ben Takei should have scored different opportunities when you know, and it, it almost felt, and I think you could see this with Angie on the line, it almost felt like he would be coming, he was getting frustrated, but they were almost like, oh, we'll get another one in a minute, yeah. and we'll get another one in a minute. And Leicester didn't really have to do anything to get back in the game. And of course, you know, really poor from Romero to leave Jamie Vardy unmarked at the far post. And then, of course, Vardy almost went and got a second. The keeper made a really good save, but he was in. So there is opportunities for Spurs they, at the back. They're not quite there yet. I think they will get there. Just little opportunities. Can Everton frustrate? Mm. You know, they, 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 they were wasteful. And that was that stopped them getting the really, got off to a really good start. And I think the manager at the end, you know, Richarlison misses a great chance with the last kick of the game, but or the last head of the game, basically. And he's on his knees, you know, Eden, because he knew that was a big opportunity. But it was a game that Spurs should have won. And I think Postacoglu will come out of it and think, we dropped points already. They won't mm. want to do it against us. But lots of good signs for them. But also, they were a little bit rocky for him. Yeah. They've got, the so much, the half an hour. they've got so much pace and attack and talent, haven't mm. they? You're just mm. looking here, you know, like Son and Johnson started last week, Madison, then you've got the likes of Archie Gray, Werner, Kulaveski, obviously you mentioned there with Charleston. There's so much pace and yeah. attack and talent there, isn't it? That, that's just, it is, and, you know, you look at what we've got and the, and the, the, the general one paced way we play, you know, you look at them and you just think, Jesus Christ, I mean. They've got Basuma back as well this yeah. weekend. Terrifying midfield. Oh, well, listen, there's no. They spent a lot of money, it invested really mm. well, and, and reinvested Harry Kane money and all that. So they've done well. They bought and they bought a lovely mix of players. So they're a good side. We know they are. They've been a good side for a few, a good few years now. They hit a little rocky spell under Marino and things like that. Um, Conti, they were functional without being exciting. But Pasta Cogley, they've come in and they've invested. Plays a lovely attack and brand of football. Got good players. The way it is, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to go with it. You spend money. You 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 bring players in. You want to build, and that's what Tottenham have done really well. For us, it's a case of can we can we frustrate them? But they have got an embarrassment to riches. It's frustrating frustrating them and set pieces really, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, the way you look at it. it. And, that, yeah. and I know that sounds really defeatist, but you you just you just can't see anything another way into. We're not gonna obviously we're not gonna outplay them because no. we can't really outplay anybody. Mm. And, it, and with the plays we've got missing, it, it really just comes... If we had a full squad, you might look and go, right, we can go in, we keep it tight, we, we're we quite good on the counter-attack. We went there last season, and, OK, they ended up beating us, but we had good opportunities, and we should have had a, we should have had a penalty, or the goal disallowed that shouldn't have shouldn't have been disallowed. You know, we don't think we gave them a two-goal yeah, start yeah. early on, but we'd already, Calvert-Loon had already missed the sitter before they made it 1-0. Mm. And then, obviously, as the game went on, we, we should have got a draw. Dan G no, was missed have. three opportunities in the bar. But going there with seven players missing yeah. against a really good side, first home game, and they've got mm. lots of attack and It's gonna yeah. be it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be tough. Incredibly it? difficult. It is gonna be tough, and I don't think there's any way to dress it up. And I, we're certainly not. We're just we're just being honest. Eleven haven't won an away game since December. No, but and, and when you look when you go through. I mean, looking at all of their stats against us, in fact, I'm stopping. Just stop. It's, there's no point. Because they are one of our, regardless of yeah. anything else, even if we had a good side, these are one of our, like, I think our record against these is probably worse yeah, than anyone else yeah, in terrible. the last 15, 20 years. So it's, it's up there. Like, it's shocking. We've mm. hardly beat them. So, so oh, cute. Well. It's Jake O'Brien at the weekend and a win. You know, I've seen a lovely thing that Everton put out. Remember, we beat them 3-1 there in yeah. 2008. Arteta set up. And we had good players. We had good players. We had good players. We had I set two of them up stubs. It's a free kick. And we had hope. Do you want it? It's a anyway, tough one. Let's it's see a tough that. one. It was always going to be a tough one. Yep. Um, listen, we played Doncaster on Tuesday. You don't know what happens. Yeah. Any, it's a funny old game, someone. Experts like a once said. Yeah. You go. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, you know, if you want to give a score prediction, why not? And you know, spares if you want to come and cry it in, 
in the comments oh, and yeah. tell us why we're going to get... Come why, and cry about how and... you can't play against the low yeah. block. Yeah, come and cry it in for us. I don't think many Spurs fans will be worried. No, I don't know. They might, they might, they, they might be. That's just their mentality that their manager's trying to change. There you go. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR code is coming up on the screen in a moment. See you later.